This video will teach you how to implement the Alina simulation and the basic process module in the process. Also, I will implement the simple bottleneck problem. So first, after you open the Alina software, you click on the basic process and there will be three basic modules that will be used to implement this problem. The first one is create module. You just click, drag and drop. This create module will allow the product or the part coming into the system. Double click on it. You can adjust any parameters. So for example, here in the name, you can name anything related to your process. Uh, for me, I will write at part alive to system. Okay. And for the entity type is your product name. You can name anything is your product. But for me, I will name as the part. And here in this box, the time is the value that will set to your uh, product. For example, if I set for constant one hour, it means that in every hour, the part will arrive to the system. So if I set two minutes, it means that in every two minutes, the part will arrive to the system. And if I choose for the random expo, it means that it's random around two minutes that the part will arrive. So it's maybe uh, one minute and another part will come in another two minutes and all the part will maybe come one and a half minutes. It's random. But for in this example, I will choose for the constant two minutes. An entity per arrival is like setting a batch. If you set one, it means that uh, in each arrival, the part will go for one part. And if you set two, it means that each arrive, the part will come two parts. So every two minutes, it will come two parts, and another two minutes, it come another two parts. And if set one, yeah, it will come to one. And first creation is mean that uh, the first part that arrive into the system, it will arrive at uh, initial state at zero minutes. If you set one, it means that you need to wait for one minute before the first part is alive. Okay, in here I will set zero. Okay, this is the create module. And the second one is this post module. After the part is created and doing some process, so the process module will be later. And after it finished, it should be disposed out of the system. So in here, you can name as the part uh, leave from the system. Part dispose from the system. Yeah, maybe you can name as the part from the system. And if we have create and the part, next we should have the process. So this box is a very important box. So in the process box, you can name your process. Just for example, uh, machine process. And type, you just uh, leave it as standard. And the logic here, we need to select at the sys, delay, and release. It means that uh, sys is mean uh, the part will stick to this process. Delay is mean uh, how much time that take in this process. And release is mean after it finished the delay, it will release to other process. Okay, so you always check as sys, delay, and release. And for the resource, it means the worker. So you define your own worker here by click add. So resource name is your worker name. As in here is the machine process. So the resource name will be machine. You need to see and release is mean that each time the process run, uh, how many units can go into the process. So in, in here I define as one. So it means that it will do one per time. Okay. 
the process will do one part per time. If I set two, it means that the process can do uh, two part per time. Okay, and here I will set one. And at the bottom is the delay type. In this, okay, uh, if I set the constant, and here is two, it means that this port, this process will take two minutes per unit. So if I set as one hour, it means that this process will take one hour per unit. So you can uh, select any statistical value, yeah. triangular distribution, normal distribution, you can set mean and standard def, triangular distribution, and uniform distribution. Also, you can define the expression, your own expression. The detail about this will be posted in, in the GitLab. Okay. In here, I will set the constant as uh, 2 minutes. Okay. After you have the create module, process module, and uh, this post module. So now we can have the process. So we connect all the box together by using the connect here, clicking and link it. Okay. So here is our process. So after you know about the three basic modules so we will implement the bottleneck problem so here is our problem there are three machines in this process the machine a take two minutes per unit the machine b take four minutes per unit and machine c take three minutes per unit so we will implement this simple bottleneck problem and find out where is the bottleneck process and what is the capacity of the process? Also, we can find out the throughput time of the product. Okay. So we will implement this. Okay. So click and delete this. Okay. We will leave the part alive to the system here and the part depart from the system here. And we will implement three process box. So the first box here. I will change the name into machine A process and as the machine A take 2 minutes per unit as here so it's already config but I will edit the name of the resource from machine to machine A okay. it takes 2 minutes per unit so here should be 1 and this should be 2 okay. after finish click OK so we will implement the another two box, two process box. The first box is here. We name as machine B process, and delay type will be this delay and release, and the resource you will define your own worker. As here is there is a machine A, but as you know, machine A and machine B are different. So you need to create another machine as a machine B and the unit to seize and release also one. And the delay type will be the constant of uh, four minutes. Okay. And for another process is machine C process. And the action type also sees and delay and release and create another worker machine C and the delay type will be constant of three minutes okay. after you set it all you can connect all the module together Okay. 
and as the machine A take two minutes per unit, so the part arrived to the system uh, in this simulation will be two minutes. Okay. Next, we will set the project setting by click on run and set up. So in the project setting, we click on the replication parameters. And number of replication means how many rounds that the process will run replicately if you run in the loop. So in here, I will set just only one. But you can set like two or three or five if you increase the accuracy of the, of the process. But this process is a constant process. You already know that machine A take two minutes, machine B take four minutes, machine C take three minutes. So any number of replication is set, it will give the same result. But uh, if the machine A, machine B, and machine C has the delay type as a statistical distribution, so it, it, the, the value will random. So number of replication will increase the accuracy of the process. And next is a replication length. So in this project, I will run for one hour to see that uh, in one hour, how many parts that we get from the system. And base time unit is the unit of time that you will see in the report. So I, will, uh, I want to see it in a minute for easy understanding. An hour per day is like you set up the working hour. So one day I will define as 24 hours. So here after finish, click OK. So here we finish uh, implementation of the Arena software on the bottleneck problem. So we will run this process by clicking this go button. And here, in here, you can adjust the speed of the process. And here, I will show you slowly. At the bottom, here is the minute time of the process. Now, it is on 17 minutes, 18 minutes, 20 minutes, 21, 22 minutes, we got 4 part, 24, we still got 4. And here, you can increase the speed of the process. Okay, after finish, the arena dialog will show that would you like to see the result? So I click yes to see the result of the process. So here is the result. It means that after we run for one hour, the number out of the process is 13. It means that the capacity of the system here is 13 units per hour. And you can click for another page. You can see uh, the result from the process. So, okay. You can see the total time of the entity. Entity is mean the part or the product that you define. The total time, the minimum value is nine minutes. So it's mean that the throughput the throughput time of the entity is 9 minutes. Okay. The time unit is minute here as we said in the base time unit. And here's the throughput time. Also, the number out of the process is 13. So it means that the capacity of this process, the actual capacity is 13 units per hour. Also, we can find out the Q. As can be seen, the Q is stuck on the machine B process, while the machine A and the machine C has no Q. So it means that our bottleneck process is stay at the machine B. So it is outlet in outlet is seven parts, and the outlet time is forty minutes. Outlet waiting time is forty minutes. And here is the resource, so you can see the utilization. As a machine A, it takes 100%. Machine B, 
take 96% and machine C is take 60, 68% so it means that machine C is take less utilization because maybe from the machine B has the bottleneck so that's why machine C is still need to wait the part out from the machine B okay this is the arena report so if you click close it you can still find the report from the report tab and double click on the category overview so the report will come back so after you run it you may stop here and if you want to run for the another round you can just click here again okay and the result will still the same okay now we finish uh, the arena simulation implementation for the bottleneck problem i will post this file on my gitlab link see you in the next video